Glock in my lord. Yo, what is up, guys? It's me, Stream. Oh, sorry about that glare over there. It's just a window. But today is um one of my first ever vlogs. I'm recording from my computer webcam. I don't have my camera yet. Um, but today I'm doing cooking with extreme, um, I'm gonna have pajamas, sorry, but, um, grilled cheese, man, like, why would I not, all right, this, all right, there you go, that's better, so, um, just, let's get into it, so, you need a pan, first of all, Need a little spatula, or you can just grab the grilled cheese with your hand and don't burn yourself. You need some butter. And you need your bread and your cheese and you know. So I'm gonna get out my bread. I'm gonna make one sandwich right here. So there we go. Now I made a grilled cheese. I made two grilled cheeses yesterday, but I didn't record it. So first of all, There we go. Let that heat up. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do, I actually learned something today. I was watching a YouTube video of this guy making grilled cheese. What I used to do with grilled cheese was spread the butter on the bread and I'd literally tear up the bread by doing that because the butter was so cold. But I learned that you can literally just put butter on the thing, let it melt, spread it around, then just dip the, the bread into it. So. Pretty nice. Put a little bit more. Let that melt up. Got the cheese. Alright, so yeah, let that melt up, you know, spread it around. pretty good dip it on the other side and move it over so I can get the other piece dip and then dip all right it's looking pretty good so far now I'm gonna put on uh, I'm gonna turn up the six and then put the cheese on real quick there we go baby put it on me I like having a lot of cheese on my grilled cheese. Because, you know, cheese is the main ingredient. I mean, if you don't know that, then you're an idiot. Now, put the bread in the middle of the pan, because that's where it's the hottest. Um, the way you position your pan, if you have the bread in the middle, it's going to be the hottest then. Now, I have my uh, stove here at four. That's what I use it for. Because, um, you know, if you have it at six, you know, I'm going to turn it to five, but if you have it at like six or something, that means the bread is going to cook way faster than the cheese. Who's your daddy? Do you want one? All right, I'm actually going to turn up to six just to let the bread melt a little bit. Look at that. Listen to that sizzle. I love the sound of sizzling. Yep, the bottom is cooking pretty nicely. Let's check out the cheese. Cheese isn't cooking that good, but once the bread 
um, gets cooked decently on both sides. I'm going to turn it down a little bit so the cheese gets cooked. Boom! I You probably can't see how crispy it looks on the bread, but dude, that looks amazing. That looks amazing. And the cheese is um, starting to melt a little bit, so pretty nice. All right, I'm going to turn the heat down now. There we go. Push, push down on the bread. It's going to make the cheese go a little faster. I mean, it always works for me if you push down on the bread. Alright, looking pretty nice so far. Uh, my dog, um, I think he wants some. Hey, come here. See, there he is. Hey, look it. Alright, better check it. Alright, let's check out the cheese. Bang! You see that melted cheese? Look at that. Look at, look at that. I'm going to let it cook for a little bit more. See how the bottom looking? All right, not bad. I'm going to flip it one more time in a minute. And then we're going. We're going in. Um, I'll make more episodes of cooking. Just post in the comments what you want me to cook. Because um, I could make macaroni. I could make um, burgers, hot dogs, whatever you want me to make. I, can't, I usually like to boil my hot dogs, though. It makes it a little more interesting. I learned that from Christopher Tiggs. When I went to his house, he, I wanted some hot dogs. So I thought we were just going to microwave them like, you know, usual people. But he boiled them, and they tasted really good. All right, I'm going to let this cook, and then it'll be all done. Oh, I don't have a plate. So let me get a plate. It's looking pretty nice so far, if I say. So yeah, post in the comments what you want me to cook next. Um, tell me, I could make spaghetti, I could make pizza, I could make, um, let me see, um, what else did, whatever else I said, hot dogs, burgers, macaroni, I can make whatever. So if you wanna come to my house, I'll make you something. Oh, that's looking pretty good. There you are. Now if you want to see magic, I usually clean after I make my meal. So I need to clean off the pan really quick. Woo! I love it. I love it. Get all the cheese off of it. And that is pretty complete. So here we have it. Looking pretty crispy. Let me check out the bottom. Let's see how burnt it is. Boom. Pretty nice. As you can see. Cheese is cooked pretty well. Now, shout out to Ethan, Flavor League 720. I'm about to taste this thing. I mean, I could have added a little more cheese. I think I could have added a way more cheese, but putting the butter on the pan instead of spreading, spreading the butter on the sandwich is way easier. And I think it made it better, but I think I needed more cheese. Mm. 
But anyways, I'm gonna end off right here. Post in the comments what you want me to make. I think next I'll probably make macaroni. But anyways, peace.